how much of this is going to be voice acted and how much am I going to have to read with my no sleep voice? Alpha knows feeling the need to take stock. Naryu, do you have some time to talk? I didn't get a choice in the matter. I'd like to gather everyone in Dawn's respite, 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 and together assess the situation in which we find ourselves. Let's take stock of the facts, shall we? The crisis at hand began with the sudden appearance of ominous towers and multitude of locations. Shit. Uh, not if I'm going to be reading. Uh, apocalyptic event, blah, blah, blah. Countless innocents kidnapped and imprisoned, their faith perverted for primal summonings. And unless we find a way to deal with the corruptive aura surrounding the spires, we can't even get close enough to rescue. Those shielded with the blessing of light seem to be able to resist by be being tempered, at least. Oh, this game. But after what happened to Ehrenwald and Ferdola, we need to be very, very careful about how we proceed. Dova, why are you awake? Yet while these threats close to home are a paramount concern, we mustn't lose sight of the situation in Garlemald. As you know, the Teleforal Telephori are under leadership of Fan, Fan, Fan Daniel and one other delightful fellow, Xena. Okay. To date, he's reclaimed his old body, murdered Emperor Varys, and plunged Garlemald into an even deeper pit of chaos. The capital has probably seen the worst of, worst of it, but for a good while there, it saw the bloodiest fighting in the world, War of Succession. But that has since changed in troubling ways. I'm allergic to sleeping. Fair. Let's make it not go automatically, and maybe I won't have this problem. I, during our reconnaissance, the air was not once rent by the barking of cannons or the cries of discord. T'was an eerie fog of silence which did blanket that ruined city. The inhabitants appeared to have been tempered, and with nary a word, uh, with nary a word spoken, did they labor to transform the palace into a soaring edifice born of nightmares. If they were indeed made thralls, it seems safe to assume that these events, too, were orchestrated by the Telephori. Is that an I or an L? I think it's an I. An army of primals is awful enough, but in light of recent developments, I fear it is only the prelude to an even greater catastrophe. We need to devise a means to counter this threat, and quickly, before our allies are overwhelmed. We will find a way in Charlene, I am sure of it. Master Fortunal, I don't know if that's how it said, comments regarding the final days were curious to say the least. The forum knows more than it is letting on. Sorry to interrupt. We've just received word from Mistress Creel. She says that arrangements for your visit have been finalized. This is very intense music to say. Time to go! You're to head to Limsa Laminsa and board the next ship bound for Charlayan. And on arrival, present yourselves as associates of the students of Baldes Baldesian. Come to assist with the Order's restoration. I love when his ears wiggle. The arrangements may be settled, but what of your thoughts? They must race at the prospect of returning home after so long. I'm eager to see it, of course. Of course. Ahem. <laughs> we should set off at once. So does that mean you haven't slept yet, Dova? Or you slept and woke up, like, in the middle of the night, like a weirdo? Then I'll accompany you to the docks. You need at least one person there to wave and cry and wish you a safe journey. Aw. <laughs> You're fighting aliens. There. And you're also a weirdo. Well, I knew that.
Okay, so I'm not going to use my return to Limsa because I feel like that's a terrible idea. They're going to, like, everybody's going to be there. So let's try going to the Maelstrom and taking the network. It's a very blue outfit. Oh. Uh. Okay. This, that's new. Can I just... Okay. That was... Sorry. <laughs> Caught me off guard a little bit. <laughs> Here's everybody. Everyone's here, which is good, because I've already paid for your passage, and the fee is non-refundable. The ship for Charlene should be pulling into port soon, so please follow me and have all of your luggage close at hand. Luggage? I didn't pack anything. How do I play this game again? <laughs> They've almost finished loading our car. Yes. We should be ready to depart right away. No, <laughs> no reading. Oh. Excellent. It is nice to have a smooth beginning to one's journey, at the very least. Mm -hmm. I already it's forgot funny. I turned off the auto advance. <laughs> What's funny, thank Master good. Louis Soir came here on a ship very much like this one. I mean, I would think there are a lot of ships like this one. Is that that surprising? And now, years later, the street urchin he befriended that day is bound for oh, his mentor's okay. homeland. With his mentor's grandchildren, no less. Aye. It is upon reflection that every twist of time's river and fate's whims are brought into sharp relief. Thou hast matured much in the intervening years. Wert thou it not doesn't... caught attempting to relieve Master Louis Soir of his purse scant moments after he made landfall upon this dock? Oh, really? Now that's a tale I'd like to hear. Unless they just told him to sound Will this be older. Will to visit to Charlie and Sir Estinian? I'm still not happy with the position of this camera. Hold on. Sir Estinian? <sighs> Are we strangers newly met? Why this stiff formality? <laughs> so grumpy. I, uh... Merely meant it as a professional courtesy, since we are now colleagues in an official sense. I'd rather you dispense with the sirs, especially in private company. Or I'll be forced to respond in kind, little Lord Alphano. Oh no. <laughs> You've made your point, Estinian. Painfully well. Better. Weird. What's wrong? You, to Taru. you seem positively distraught. I keep forgetting that I distraught? <laughs> turned off Me? auto advance. Don't be silly. I think it's lovely that they get to see their homeland. It's, it's just, just the last time we left. We're trying to thwart the schemes of an army hell-bent oh. on destroying the world. Yeah. And? And once again, 
I have Sorry to stay behind and worry that this is the last time I'll get to see my friends. Hmm. Oh. No sense worrying. <laughs> Comforting? Not really a comforting sort. Ah, oh, good. You're still here. Oh, hey. Hori, Coltine, what brings you all this way? Which that rhyme, Dally say. The cobbles with a lunar primal operation. So we thought we'd see you off before heading to the tower. Thanks, Mr. Boulder. Flamine and the others wish you all a safe journey and promise that they'll look after things here until you return. Hmm. If we return. We will too, of course. Aye. We, your fellow signs of the Seventh Dawn, will do our part to ensure the end of the world won't happen on our watch. We set the sail. All aboard for Charlian. Congratulations, Dova, on your it's absolutely time. nothing. You know what? I know it says absolutely nothing, but just for you, have some hype. Then we must delay no longer. We will contact you the moment we learn aught of value. Wish us luck. You're welcome. Have a safe journey, and please, please. Be careful. No promises. <laughs> I don't, didn't even nod. <laughs> I said no promises. And so you venture forth unto the unknown. Yeah, that's a what my Discord status is. The horizon that cannot be divined. Sort of. A future undefined and in flux. In uncertain times, naught but the simplest words of wisdom will suffice. That which lives is destined to die. Love mm. leads to loss. Every beginning has an end. Walker. <clears throat> Treasure every moment, every step of your descent. Where are we going? And there, in the depths where souls oh. and stars rest, find your truth. That's a dragon. No, 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 no. Here. Yeah. Seems reminiscent of our first trip to Limsa. So Feel. long ago. Day has barely dawned, my fellow earlier riser. Hey, babe. Though we're hardly alone in that. Envious of those still sleeping soundly. 
No doubt. We're just like sitting on what looks like a stage. Called out to you, you say? Hmm. I've heard nothing myself. In any case, I dare say the sea air will do you good. Why not join the others on deck? Charlian should be coming into view at any moment. Who's singing? Oh. Yes, follow the ghostly form. Is you. I am glad. Hear, feel, think, and thus do we meet face to face at last. Man, warrior of light, guided by the crystal. I just got like legit chills. <laughs> After your sojourn in the first, I believe you have your answer. You have gained an understanding of what I truly am, what Eidolon has always been, a primal. Zodiac was created to forestall the apocalypse, which what threatened her voice the sounds really world. familiar too. And I was brought forth to bind him. Yet seven times now, those who would orchestrate a return to that bygone era have rejoined a shard to the god I had sundered. The greater his strength grows, the swifter does mine own diminish. The power to draw your mind into the rift betwixt is no longer mine to wield. Yet though it taxes me sorely, I dare not leave these words unsaid. Even bereft of my guidance, you and your companions have accepted the burden of this star's troubled past. A conjunction has begun to form, an intertwining of your time and mine. Wheels shudder and turn. Conflict looms. Monumental which will decide the fate of this world and all life upon it. When you truly understand what is at stake and your journey has prepared you to surmount the insurmountable. Oh God, she's been in like a million things. Then shall I honor the promise made in another time, another age. Cast your peepers to the fore, folks. Charlians just over yonder. I will not keep you further. 
Your traveler's heart must yearn to behold this unfamiliar land. We shall meet again, and soon. This is like so many years in the making. It's like I'm low key emotional. <laughs> Hey guys, good morning. I just, you know, had a chat with Hydaelyn. No big deal. Oh, what a fine morning. Oh, still a bit stiff though. And a good morning to you too. I'm sniffly. Take a look at the island already? Uh, no. That's not what I was then doing. Let's go. Let's go. Might still be room in the prow if we're lucky. Okay. Ah, the sleepers have arisen. I just noticed Booby's not in frame. What's happening here? There she is. <laughs> Good old Charlian. Oh, I see it. All too far. <laughs> but now the puzzle block is home. Disappeared. Home at last. <laughs> well. Maybe not in far. Excuse lives, my hand. But we'll manage on our own. Good. If we must. You do know you're not alone in this, don't you? Yeah, guys. Why are you being so dramatic about it? Indeed. Tis as Sir Estinian say. Forget not the comrades who boarded this ship at your side. I prithee. Thank you, my friends. We are ever grateful for your steadfast support. Upon arrival, we will be disembarking into the heart of Charlian proper. There is no greater concentration of wisdom in all the world. I am confident that somewhere within that center of knowledge and learning, we will find the answers we seek. Here's hoping. Otherwise, it's a wasted trip. Do you guys see her hair clip through her cheek there for a sec? <laughs> Hey, that's the name of the expansion. Wild. <laughs> 